Jared, a Hoosier Catfish Excursion here. Out here on the river tonight. We're gonna spend a couple hours, see if we can get us a flathead. Uh, water depth here is about 10 foot. I'm sitting on a 10 foot hole. The water temp's about 72 degrees. Uh, last week, the water temp over here was 59 degrees. So just in a week, it's gone up 10 plus degrees. So hopefully that spikes a good flathead bite. I got fresh shad for bait. Uh, I got a couple live bluegills I'm gonna throw out. But uh, we're gonna see what we can do. Thanks you guys for watching. The gar in this river are terrible. If you ever fish a small river like this, you got to bring a lot of bait because these gar will just, they'll just eat all of it. You got you to gotta weed through the gar to get through the, the fish you want to catch. Those old guard did. You see that? That was a, that was a three quarters of a shed. Just left me with the eyes. Things are annoying. I think I have a fish on. Oh, here. I'm just snagged. <clears throat> oh, no. Oh, no. That's not good. That's bad. Oh, I just lost my anchor. Oh, it's not good. That's bad. on here whoa that's a massive blue cat holy crap oh man this is chaos he wouldn't fuck at all oh it's a big blue kitty oh my god oh my god Ooh. Chaos right now, guys. Oh my god. Trying to unsnag this thing. Realized very quickly it wasn't a snag. Nice book. that fish out of his snag. This is bad.
this rod unsnagged and uh, I guess when it was in the snag this fish hit it and uh, I didn't know he was on there when I was trying to pull it out. My brush grips that I had clipped onto a uh, tree that was in the middle of the river came off with my other two rods out while I'm trying to fight this fish and uh, I got the fish but I ended up in the bank and I'm I'm okay. That's the really important part. Oh man. I'm gonna try to get back to that spot I was in. Ugh, I don't like this. Oh, this one bit. Got a line everywhere. This is bad. Come on, push pole. Work with me here. Holy crap. This wasn't anchored like it should have been on that on that log jam. Let's see if I can get back up there. Oh my word. That was scary. Can't mess around with this little, even these little rivers, man. Trolling motor just killed out for some reason. Oh my gosh. Woo, Houston, we have a problem. I gotta get that blue cat back in the water. He's a nice one. Oh, There's the back back leader. Okay. There's that bait. Oh my gosh. My brush grips got caught in my trolling motor. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, that's way to start off. That's way to start off a trip right there. Woo! <laughs> Oh, 
some scary stuff right there. There's a riffle not too far downstream, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this light out so I can actually see what I'm doing. You guys probably want to see some stuff. Oh man. Ooh, there's a fish. Man, that was crazy. I did not like that at all. That was scary. Definitely some pucker factor going on there. That was terrifying. All right, that's good. Oh my gosh. He might go 20. That's it. I got lines there, I got braid there, I got lines that need retied. I am sweating. My adrenaline kicked in right there. Oh my gosh. That is my first blue of the year. He's probably, he's easy. Uh, 15. Okay. Whew. You guys see that? That's a White River Blue Cat right there. That's a good fish. Yeah. Okay. Let's get you back, buddy. You've been out of the water long enough. He said, get me out of this little John boat. I don't like this. Oh my God. Oh. Okay. That was crazy. We're good. You're good. I'm fine. <sighs> Respect the river, guys. Respect it. It'll hurt you quick. Oh, man. I'm just going to have to retie everything. I got one rod that's good to go. Uh, yeah. Well, screw it. I might as well throw that one good rod out while I'm busy retying these other two. Woo! I've been stuck on log jams and stuff like that, but never by myself at night with the fish on, and whew, I'm still kind of kind of shaking. That was a that was kind of scary. <laughs> that was crazy. Lost anchor with the fish on. It's going down river. Almost went to the log jam. Got the fish netted. Got him secured. Tried to get my bearings with the trolling motor, but I had my uh, my drift bucket anchor out the back that was working against me against that trolling motor and it just wasn't happening and uh i had the camera light on so i couldn't see what was in front of me and uh, i ended up just hitting the bank that was that was chaos let's get at least one rod out eh So we're fishing again. We must amputate. That rod's free. Free rod. up here that's it's 
save that. Alright. There's the aftermath. There's 40 pound mono, 65 pound braid, 50 pound mono. Ugh. What a mess. Another concern I have is for some reason my trolling my trolling motor died after it got caught on my brush grips after we hit the bank over there. It got caught on that trolling motor and then it eventually just died. I don't know if it killed my battery or what because my running lights weren't working and my spotlight wasn't working and they're all hooked up to the same battery. But uh, I brought another battery so worst comes to worst I'll just swap them. Made a lot of noise coming back up here, so they're probably not gonna bite for a while. Or at all. If I'm, if I'm lucky, I'll get another bite. Man, I thought that was a goner though. That got crazy. I didn't have the light on for most of that. Alright guys, that is more than enough excitement for me for one night, so uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and cut my losses and get out of town while this river still lets me. Uh, be careful when you guys go out there, there's no fish risking your life over. Uh, go with the buddy, uh, wear your life jacket, that's probably the bigger mistake I didn't do is wear my life jacket here. Uh, yeah, just be safe out there guys.